my name is Tina Chang and I'm currently a house officer at Waitak Road Hospital which is part of the Waitamata DHB in Auckland. Um, I originally studied down in Dunedin, it's a part of the Otago Medical School but I've decided to come back to Auckland to work. So that was a very difficult decision um, where I wanted to go because I quite like small towns and enjoyed being in the South Island but I think having studied down in the South Island for so long I wanted to move back home so I grew up on the North Shore um, and just wanted to come home because I've got lots of family and friends here and I think as part of your first job it's so important to have that support network um, and I've already you know, had, had that there and, I'm looking and I was looking forward to meeting new people, um, new colleagues as well and I thought that would be more exciting than staying down where I was comfortable but um, where, you know, I just wanted to change as well I think. It was really good. I felt very supported. I never felt um, that I was struggling um, or was overworked or anything. Um, I mean, it was initially, I must admit, it was initially a bit difficult trying to adjust the hours because we're not used to working so long. Um, but apart from that, it was, I was sort of eased my way, I was eased into the job. I started on geriatrics. I think that was quite a good run to start off on. And Waitakere Hospital being a smaller hospital was a really good way as well. Um, so my first day, I after a week of orientation, my first day I met my team um, and had a bit more orientation. And then the second day they told me that I was off to do all rounds by myself. <laughs> so that was new because as a student we've never had to do that. Um, but it was surprisingly quite fun I think, um, being able to see my own patients at my own pace and get to know them. Um, and then I think one of the great things is you learn to be, you have a lot more responsibility um, and you start looking after your own patients. They do become your patient and you fully become involved in their care, um, which means that you learn a lot of medicine, a lot about people as well. So yeah, it was really great. The first week um, the team were very friendly and had a very supportive registrar and consultant and yeah, great colleagues as well. It's a good small friendly environment. I think it's been quite good, like you always hear lots of different things about Auckland but so far um, for instance people say that in larger hospitals you don't get as much exposure to patients but actually in contrast I found that I've gotten the level that I want and I think quite a lot, like I do ward rounds by myself three days a week so I'm definitely always exposed to patients. Um, there's lots of room to practice practical skills so things like taking bloods, catheters, lines, like they're all very commonplace. Um, when you're doing on-calls as well, you're doing all of that, so definitely enhancing your practical skills. At the same time, you're doing it in a very supportive environment, so I think that's a difference. We've been in a smaller hospital, some of my friends have said that they have found sometimes they're a bit um, out of their depth and um, just have to make decisions and sometimes not exactly sure if that's the right decision. Whereas at White Matter DHB, you've always got a registrar or a consultant that you can um, just check things with if you're unsure at any time. Um, also the orientation itself at Watamata DHB was very good, like for instance we had a whole day where we came here and just did workshops on CPR, what to do with a patient, saturations went really low, um, they were very practical and there were skills that I actually um, were able to use during my first on call, I actually got a patient with low SAT so was able to not panic too much when I saw him. Yeah, so I think overall it's very good, supported, and you learn lots of medicine as well, which is what we all want. And you're in a, yeah, just a very friendly environment. Yeah, so one of the other reasons why I wanted to come up to Auckland is that it's so multicultural. And I think New Zealand has become such a multicultural place, so it's so important to, I guess, and they talk about learning the skills of cultural competency. And I think the only way to do so is to interact with patients from all different um, cultures, religions, races, and here in Auckland you get that um, variety which is very nice. Um, I know in the South Island I didn't really meet too many Māori or Pacific Islanders, so here it's been quite nice as well. I can practice a bit of my Samoan that I've tried to learn. Um, <laughs> I learned a bit while I was away um, on elective in Samoa. Uh, Talofa, um, Ua Maoi, that's hello, how are you? Fafetai is thank you um, and goodbye is fast away for us.